Alright, good afternoon everybody. It's your boy Akeen and welcome to today's vlog. Here to continue with all of my projections for the 2013 Fantasy Football League. Now I'm going to give you my top 10 defenses. Not my top 20, but a top 10 defense. Starting things off at number 10, I'm going to actually go with the Minnesota Vikings. I do like Jared Allen's play. His career starting off with the Kansas City Chiefs and still bringing in the pain in the minute for the Minnesota Viking defense. He was still probably post double digit sacks this season. Now, one player in particular that I'm going to keep my eye on is the, as a return specialist, hopefully they will use him, is Kadario Patterson, their, um, their draft selection from the University of Tennessee. Hopefully he could be that Percy Harvard hybrid and be effective as a return specialist. At number nine, I'm going to go with the Arizona Cardinals. I did like to play last season from Darrell Washington, posted double-digit sacks last season, and I do like their um, draft pick in Tyron Matthew, the teammate of Patrick Peterson while he was at LSU. So they're going to be joining forces again, and I think they're going to have a good cornerback tandem. At number eight, surprisingly, a great defense, young defense at that, and that is the St. Louis Rams. James Laurinaitis, Chris Long, Janoris Jenkins, who had a stellar rookie season, and along with a good vet and Cortland Finnegan, they have a good defense in that NFC West division, and that's going to be a competitive conference because I actually, three of those teams in, are in, actually all four of those teams are in my top ten. At number seven, I'm going to go with the Patriots, New England. I think they had a great year overall. Chandler Jones is one player I hope to step it up this year and actually have more sacks. At number six, I'm going to go with the San Francisco 49ers, my Niner team. They did a great job last season. I think they, they kind of fell back a little bit short last year. I think I, I actually expected him to go at least within the top five, but Alden Smith and company have been doing great. I think with the um, with their first round pick, Eric Reed, hopefully he can help out that secondary to make that defense complete. They have two all-pro linebackers and Navarro Bowman and and Patrick Willis, and I already mentioned Alden Smith and Justin Smith, even though age is cut, kicking in for Justin Smith, they have a great defense, just lost in the Super Bowl this past year. At number five, I'm going to go with the Houston Texans and reigning defensive player of the year, J.J. Watts. This guy is a monster. I'll look after him to get a lot of sacks and tackles for loss. At number four, and this is a great defense, a young defense in that and very hungry, and that is the Cincinnati Bengals. And they actually have an outstanding defensive tackle and Geno Hackins who had over 10 sacks last season and he was actually making a run for defensive player of the year. At number three, I'm going to go with the Denver Broncos. They placed second overall last season according to ESPN. Now we all know about the latest news with Von Miller. He could be facing a four-game suspension, but once he joins back with this team, this team will be dominant on the defensive side, especially with the help of Peyton Manning on offense, keeping them off the field and still being effective when they're on the field. And let's not forget, they did sign Sean Phillips, who had nine and a half sacks for the San Diego Chargers last season. At number two, I'm going to go with the Seattle Seahawks. I like this defense a lot. They have a sick defense. One player I really hope makes a good comeback this year, and that is Chris Clemens, who had 11 and a half sacks last season, and he suffered a knee injury against the um, Washington Redskins in that first round wildcard playoff game. I do like the Seahawks team a lot. They are very hungry, and this is the fourth team from that NFC West division, and I really think everybody should focus more on the NFC West division this upcoming season. And at number one, this was an obvious pick for me. I'm going to go with the Chicago Bears. They have a great defense. Charles Tillman, Tim Jennings catching a lot of interceptions, as well as Charles Tillman forcing a lot of fumbles. And let's not forget about Julius Peppers. Yes, age is pretty much kicking in, but he's still an effective player, dominant player on the defensive side, and still making it to Pro Bowls. So that wraps things up with my top 10. I do have a bust and a sleeper for you guys this year. The bust that I have this year, I'm going to go with the New England Patriots. That's secondary is still very, very, very questionable. But even though they still make it to the top 10 last season, even with that um, that um, that helpless secondary, but hopefully they will step it up this year on the secondary, but I highly doubt it. And I think they're very vulnerable of not making it to the top 10 this upcoming season. That's why I have them as my bust. And my sleeper this year, I'm actually going to go with the Revis Island list. New York Jets. Darrell Revis is no longer with the team. He is now with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers helping out that defense. That could be a sleeper as well. <clears throat> But I do like their draft picks in Sheldon Richardson and Dean Milliner. Hopefully those two rookies can help out that defense. And I'm going to actually call them as a sleeper. I think a lot of people did not like uh, Actually, a lot of people kind of was 
argumentative about their picks, especially with Sheldon Richardson. <coughs> But I still think, me personally, I think those are two solid picks to help out that defense. And I think they will help them out a lot. So I'm going to call them as my sleeper for the 2013 year. Now, the next time I'm going to catch you guys, I'm going to wrap these things up tomorrow to give you my top 10 kickers. Thank you for watching today's vlog. I'm your man, Keen McCall. Be easy.